The family of uh, His Excellency the President. After a two hour flight from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Pope Francis arrived in the Republic of South Sudan, his second and final destination of his 40th international trip. At the foot of the plane, he is welcomed by President Salva Kiir Mayardit and children with flowers. The Pope then traveled to the presidential palace to meet privately with the president and vice president. Along the way, hundreds of people lined the streets and welcomed him with cheers. <laughs> In the presidential gardens, Pope Francis held a meeting with about 250 members of the diplomatic corps, as well as political and religious leaders. During his address, the Pope highlighted the abundant and fruitful nature of South Sudan. He challenged leaders to be like the springs of the Nile, fresh and life-giving for the country. Voi siete chiamati a rigenerare la vita sociale come fonti limpide di prosperità e di pace, perché di questo hanno bisogno i figli del Sud Sudan. Pope Francis encouraged changing the course of the waters of South Sudan away from war and towards peace. He said that in order to do this, people must encounter one another and fight against corruption. Archbishop Justin Welby and Reverend Dr. Ian Greenshields joined the Pope in offering words of hope and love for the country. The Archbishop of Canterbury also described the reason for their ecumenical visit. But we come to listen to the young people, 70% of South Sudan. For without listening to their voice, there will be no peace and reconciliation. And we come to honor the women who have known such terrible suffering and yet to this day are the sign of resurrection life. All three religious leaders spoke of their desire to work together for a peaceful and prosperous future in South Sudan.